Alrighty. Yesterday, a guy named Moderate Boner came out of nowhere, attached a link and said, here is an exploit, make a jailbreak out of it. Well, at a first glance, this seems kind of sus. Because people in the jailbreak community are working so hard to get their hands on a jailbreak, but they single-handedly saved the entire jailbreak community. Even their Twitter handle is made like two days ago. So, if we open that link, it takes us to a GitHub page where everything about the exploit is mentioned. Here, as you can see, iOS 14.3 kernel LPE for all devices. Yes, whether that's iPhone 11, 11 Pro Max, iPhone 12, iPhone 10, iPhone 7, you can jailbreak it without a PC as long as it's running on iOS 14.0, 14.1, 14.2 and 14.3. And here's one more thing. If you accidentally update it to iOS 14.4 or 14.5, which you can no longer downgrade because the only signed firmware right now is iOS 14.4, that means you can no longer go back to iOS 14.3, 14.2, 14.1 on which this exploit which will be turned into a jailbreak works. I'll explain in a second what an exploit is. Even if you update it to iOS 14.4 or 14.5, they also have an exploit for iOS 14.4 which will be turned into a jailbreak. This is so good. But this naturally gives an impression that is this even legit? Because we don't know them. They just made their Twitter handle two days ago and gave us an exploit to make a jailbreak out of it. Well, if we go here, the developer of Odyssey Jailbreak, which is a really great jailbreak by the way, it's like Uncover, we don't need a PC, just tweeted this, seems legit at a first glance, will test in few hours. Now this simply means that this is legit. Now what the hell is an exploit and why it is one of the most important part needed to create a jailbreak? Basically, there's a vulnerability in iOS which is really difficult to find and once a developer finds that exploit, they report it to Apple and Apple gives them some money and Apple then patches that exploit. So let's say iOS 14.2 has a vulnerability or an exploit, a developer finds it, it reports it to Apple and then Apple with a new software update which in this case is iOS 14.4, patches that exploit which was present in iOS 14.2. This is just an example. Now once the developer gives that exploit to Apple and Apple patches that exploit, the developer can safely give it to general public so that people can study the exploit and talented developers like Coolstar can make a jailbreak out of it. Now they also gave Coolstar, the developer of Odyssey jailbreak, permissions to modify the exploit for Odyssey jailbreak so that we'll soon see an updated Odyssey jailbreak which will work on iOS 14.0, 14.1, 14.2 14.3 including A12, A13 devices. What if you accidentally update it to iOS 14.4 or 14.5? So there's absolutely no way for you to downgrade to iOS 14.1 14.2, 14.3. Now, if you are still on iOS 14.4, Modern Poner, which just made the exploit or found the exploit for iOS 14.3 or 14.0 or 14.2, you know the drill, also have an exploit for iOS 14.4. So, if you scroll all the way down to this GitHub page, I'll link this down in the description below, and you scroll all the way down, you see here, maybe will post a PSC bypass along with the iOS 14.5 exploit. This is in progress. We may publish the iOS 14 exploit after Apple patch. Now here you go. As soon as iOS 14.6 or iOS 14.7 in which this exploit which is currently present in iOS 14.5 gets patched they will release that exploit to public. So at this stage, if you are on iOS 14.4 or iOS 14.5, do not update, do not update, turn on, do not update, turn off automatic updates. 
So, a lot of people ask me how they can turn off automatic updates. Open settings, scroll down, general, software update, click on automatic updates and disable both of these. I've already disabled mine so that my phone is still running on iOS 14.2 and I can now jailbreak my iPhone once Odyssey jailbreak comes out. So please, please, please turn off automatic updates if you are into jailbreaking and even if you are on iOS 14.4 or iOS 14.5, go to settings, turn off all automatic updates. Please do it right now, otherwise you will regret in future. When you can expect this jailbreak? Coolstar, the developer of Odyssey Jailbreak, which they have permissions to modify this exploit so that they can update Odyssey Jailbreak, already started to work on this exploit and update Odyssey Jailbreak, which is really, really cool. And within weeks, we'll soon see updated Odyssey Jailbreak that supports iOS 14.3, 14.2, 14.1. That's really good. How to stay up to date on jailbreak news? Anytime in the jailbreak community upload. Now, you know when the jailbreak will be released, how the exploit works and everything about that. How you can stay on top with the jailbreak news. All you have to do is create a Twitter account, follow Coolstar and make sure to turn on tweet notifications and also follow Modern Poner. Make sure to turn on tweet notifications for them also. You can also follow me because I also tweet about jailbreak news and if anyone in the jailbreak community gets their hands on an exploit or any news about jailbreaking, I also retweet that tweet. So making videos Making videos takes a lot of time and if you want to be on top with the jailbreak news, you can follow them on Twitter as well as if you want, you can follow me too. And one more thing I want to mention is that as the Odyssey jailbreak gets released and we can jailbreak our devices and all sorts of cool stuff, I'll be uploading many, many videos. So make sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to follow them on Twitter because they are working really hard to make these jailbreaks. And yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll catch you all very soon. Peace. Save the entire jailbreak. Sing and they sing. Alrighty. Yesterday, a guy named Boner, modern